Hi everybody, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal. Welcome back to my channel. I'm in my truck recording because I wanted to try this new, um, it's called Car and Dust Mount. And I bought it a while back after I did that last video and I kind of had to set my phone up on the dash and was having a little trouble. But let me see if I can find a mount. And I needed one that sits on the dash because our windows are all tinted, all even the windshield, not dark, but it has some tint on it. So my husband doesn't want me to put anything on it that could suction and could pull it off. Um, but anyways, this here is a really nice. Here's a picture of it. And I like it, it expands, it gets taller. It, it, you just have to check it out, it's really nice. And it can go on the windshield or on your um, dash. So I'll put a link to it in the description below if you wanna go check it out. So anyways, um, I did a couple of hauls. I went to Tuesday morning, then I went to Walmart, and then I went to Aldi's. We're gonna call this a small Tuesday morning haul with a little bit of a Aldi rant. I'm not gonna do the Aldi haul because their prices are their prices. You don't really get you know, any special deals there as far as you can't use coupons. They don't have like BOGO or nothing like that. So it is what it is. So it's really just me showing you what I bought if I did a haul and I bought a lot of refrigerator stuff so it needed fruits and vegetables need to go in the refrigerator so let's start with the Tuesday morning haul so I got an email today from them and they had a um a pillow that they had gotten in recently I think I don't know if it was today or what but they got a a pillow in and it was a cooling pillow and I love anything that cools so in the, I'm hot when I go to bed at night. So I have, um, actually I use a Joy Megano pillow. That's what we have on our bed now. One side's kind of for warm and one side's for cool. And so far I like her pillows. Um, but we just purchased a new bed. Uh, we got a sleep number bed and um, we got the adjustable king one. So I just ordered sheets for it from Amazon. They came today. Or yesterday I think they came yesterday and then I got um, the pillows today for it because I was like let's start all new let's get new pillows and they said they were cooling so I'm gonna show them to you if you have the same problem I do at nighttime where you're really warm and stuff and I did buy um, um, bed covers for them I'm really upset QVC does not have the sheets I love this one set of sheets they are so cool and stuff they do not have them uh, in the extra long twin and I guess that's what you need two of those for the split king they do not carry those so I was really upset so I kind of sad I can't use that but at least I can still use the fit or the flat sheet but Tuesday morning had these pillows and they are $39.99 and here I only brought one in here hopefully you can see them but they say they are let's see $39.99 their price, estimated value $70. And these are the Jumbo 28 by 20, and their number is 1948205. And this one said extreme cooling, and they have them in different, um, different ways, that, or different, uh, what am I trying to say? Like if you sleep on your back or if you sleep on your side or whatever. So here, is, I can't see hopefully it's showing you this is what it says and see it says extremely cooling and this is the side sleeper so and you can also tell on the side here on the pillow it's kind of scrunched up in there but it will tell you here they have different ones I don't know if that's gonna say but right here there's a like a ribbon and it says a side sleeper it feels very nice I did unzip it it feels cool if that makes any sense it does feel cool even it's I just pulled it out of the bed of the truck and it still feels cool it's just well you can't see because of the label but it is so soft it does feel cool I don't know why but it does and I'm hoping that um, it works for us I did ask the um, cashier how long we had before 
to return them and she said 30 days so i said even if i try them i you know sleep on it and she said yes so i'm going to keep my receipt and I will do that. Like I said, those were $39.99, so basically $40 each. I picked up three of those because we have three pillows on our bed now. And then I got um, this embossing folder stripe. And this is from Heidi Swap. And it is number 197-6668. Three sixes, one nine seven six 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 eight. Estimated value $7.99, and it was $1.99. And this is what it looks like. It's just striped. And I think this is what five by seven, probably doesn't say, but it looks like it. Um, and that's all I got from there. I looked at some other craft items and I really didn't see anything that I needed. So that's very unusual. <laughs> so anyway, so that's all I got there, but I still spent what a hundred and what was it? $122. Um, cause this was, I think I said it was valued at $7.99 and it was $1.99 in case I didn't say that. So, and then the pills were $40 each. So I still spent a lot. But anyways, those pillows seem really nice. Um, if you guys want to know how they are after a while, let me know. I'll let you know. Um, we did order our sleep number bed um, and it just all came yesterday was the last box. So we'll be setting it up this weekend. Uh, when my husband's off probably on Sunday or Monday. So I'm excited to get the new bed set up and start using the new pillows. So anyways, um, with that said, I, like I said, I went to Walmart and I'll show you that haul, but I went to Walmart and then I went to Aldi's and I just want to say this day and age where everybody's complaining about not having jobs and, you know, just, to, you know, how tight money is and everything else. Be happy when you're at work. I can understand if customers are rude to you or something that you kind of are like, okay, you know, it may put you a little off. But when a customer is trying to be nice and then you're out just plain out rude and make smart remarks, it's just uncalled for. So um, it did happen to me, but it just still kind of irked me just because I felt like both of the cashiers, they were doing it in front of me. They were talking about these other customers. But I was in line. There was only one cashier open. The line was pretty long. And she had called for backup. Nobody showed up. Finally, it's my turn. She called again. Then she went to two different registers and started, like, clearing them off. And so I figured, well, she's clearing them off so that people can, you know, get on the registers and start helping the people in line. Then she, told, she came back and she told the people that were behind me to go to the register over to her left. And so they got out of line and went over there luckily they did not put their stuff on the thing but on the belt because the guy never came the cashier never showed up so she called again and then finally he called and said what do you want or something and she was like oh my gosh she's like come up here i need backup so then she tells the people that were behind the people that she sent over to the next register are you ready to check out? And they said, yes, it was two ladies. And she goes, well, come on then, put your stuff up on the belt. And they're like, but they were in front of us. And so she's like, well, just stand there then. And I was like, really? So then I was having trouble. You know how sometimes your credit cards get in the slot and they're a little hard to get out. So I was having a little trouble. And she goes, oh, don't worry. She goes, take your time because they're just going to stand there anyways. And I said, no, I think what she's trying to tell you is that you're telling her to come and get in line but nobody's helping those people that you sent over there. So she was like, well, whatever, they can just stand there. So then finally the guy comes that she had been calling for backup and she and he she said to him, oh, because that those people then that she sent over came and got in line behind me and started putting their stuff on the belt. And she said, oh, well, those people got tired of waiting for you. So they just came back over here and he goes, Oh, well too bad. They need to just shut up and be patient and wait till I get up here. And I was like, wow, really? I said, I said, you really need an attitude. You need to change your attitudes. I said, you need to really have a better attitude. I said, because they weren't saying anything about you. They were talking about 
her sending people over there and you not coming to help them and then taking other people while they were waiting for you. I said, nobody wants to be pulled out of line and then just stand there. And I just thought the guy was just really rude and stuff. And she was rude. And, and he was so mad. I don't know why. Maybe because he had to come up there that the lady he was ringing up, you know how they kind of just throw your stuff in the carts anyways, but she had like one of those plastic containers of um, blueberries. He threw it in the, t the seat part of her cart and the blueberries went flying everywhere, all over the floor and everything. I mean, it was just like, I don't know if he was having a bad day or what, but anyways, you know what? Sometimes just take a deep breath and let things slide off of you like we have to when we go and you're rude or we're standing in line we have to take a deep breath and let it go it's not worth the argument so anyways that was my little rant i just thought that was really um rude of them and stuff and me and the ladies that were t the ladies who were telling them to go um that you know said hey wait a minute you told you sent them over there like they were in front of me we were talking out in the in the um, parking lot and stuff and it, it's just uncalled for but anyways so this is the end of this haul it's a short one like i said but i'm going to do a walmart one and um so i'm going to end this one and then i'm going to come back with the walmart one so thanks everyone for watching please click like and subscribe and when you subscribe please hit that bell so you always get notified when i post a video and until next time bye everyone <music>